Hello, 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 everybody. This is your favorite cigar girl, the 411, the fun and fabulous Naima Pierce with red lips and cigar sticks. How are you guys? Good evening. I haven't done a smoke session with Nye since the new year, so I wanted to come on today and just kind of get started. I'm started kind of late out here in the patio chilling. I have a new heater. My husband got me a new little heater. It's sitting here in front of me, so it is projecting a lot of heat and warmth so it's not as cold out here on the patio so it's very very comfortable i'm very excited i got my new little do as well a little curly stew action going on here so today i am going to be smoking on one of my favorite top five cigars this is the lfd chapter one i had this cigar first when i was in atlanta um, during september 20. 18 yeah september 2018 for a cigar week in atlanta i was able to have this at the cigar jazz which is one of my good friends jonathan griffin's cigar lounge that's in duluth so cigar jazz if you guys are ever in the area and you want to check out a nice cool cigar lounge just go to cigar jazz in duluth and check out jonathan griffin's spot but i am um i try to do a double punch on this because this is how i had it there um because with this lip how it's made it is recommended to do a double punch so therefore you don't have to do a v cut or a straight cut so it has this extra um lip here at the end of the with the foot at the head of the cigar so therefore you can try to do a little punch all the way through um so I'm, hopefully it works out i just had a little simple punch and see if it'll work so i'm going to light it up here and see what we get get my little toasting going on Hopefully you guys have been doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am a little nasal because the weather here is so crazy in the Carolinas. It's crazy everywhere. It is warm and cloudy and rainy and snowy and all kind of things is going on with the weather throughout the United States. Everybody is getting different temperatures going on. But right now here we're in the mid 30s. So it's a little cool outside for sure. We're not cool, it's definitely cold. So I'm just trying to toast my little baby up with my chapter one by LFD. And I'm drinking on a fat tire beer. We got football going on. So a lot of people are talking junk about the Cowboys not winning. Let me light that up a little more. Because it did not light all the way through. Got a lot of black in there still. But I think my double punch worked. Hmm. It did, you guys. My double punch worked. That's a great amount of smoke there. I got a little black spot still. I'll get to it here once I show you. So this is just a little simple one I get from the smoke shop that I do shop at that's close to my house. And sorry if I'm sniffling butter. I got a little allergies going on and my nose is stuffy. But this is just it. So I just use my little puncher and you just kind of screw it and punch it in there. And then you screw it and punch it into the back area. It doesn't necessarily have to be even, you know, just as long as you get a punch here on that end and a punch on the back end. Oops, you're probably not seeing that. As long as you get a punch here on this end and a punch on the back. You're doing the same exact thing to both sides. A punch here in the front and then a punch here in the back on this Chapter 1 LFD. So I'm excited that did work. You don't always have to have the most expensive accessories to make your items work cheapness helps it work just as fine too <laughs> yes so it is just as good as it was when i first had it in atlanta at cigar jazz i am so ecstatic um of course you can order them and get them from all different companies a lot of places sell them but for me, I just go to two cigar shops that's by my house. And so if they don't carry them, I typically don't venture out to other cigar shops. I mean, I could, of course. I love to try to support all locations. But I am busy, and I just go to my main two places. And if they don't have what I need, then I order online. 
and sometimes you know some things comes quicker online some things can be cheaper and some things are more expensive so anyhow i got these at cigar etc too that is in charlotte north carolina they had an event friday so it was really great um so i got two of my little favorite cigars here i was like i'm going to get two to make sure i have enough so i can have one for my video and then one for later that i can just sit and chill and just do my thing which is what i'm trying to do tonight and here's my fat tiger yes cheers to you guys So this cigar is, um, of course, if you are a cigar smoker and you've definitely had any cigar by LFD, you know this is a great quality cigar, very nice premium cigar. They definitely are a great, strong, um, great craft cigar. They're definitely, um, I mean, they're just one of the best cigars. You just cannot go wrong with an LFD cigar. I mean, there are so many different cigars, but <laughs> sometimes I just stick to my top five because it's just easier for me because sometimes you get cigars is not as good or you're not as satisfied or your expectations is really high and it fails your expectations so but with lfd baby you cannot go wrong with this and especially with the chapter one it is such a smooth cigar even though it's a stronger maduro style cigar but it's not very overpowering at all it does not provide any of that burn or discomfort that you may get for some other stronger bigger cigars this is a pleasant cigar. It's so um, velvety. It has a velvety and creamy smoke taste to it, um, unlike most other Maduro style cigars. So I, I love, love, love this one. So definitely do check this one out if you have never had this one. I mean, it's just rich and just velvety it has a very velvety but dry earthy nutty taste to it still a lot of cedar i'm just excited that my uh, double punch worked yay very neat very clever so if you guys do have one of these chapter ones or you know anyone who have had one if they don't do this little punch action, just let them know about that. Because some people still just cut the top off as normal. and um, But you don't have to do that. You can do this little punch. And it smokes perfectly. I mean, it just gives the flavor right into your mouth. I mean, it's just a full good amount of smoke that comes into your mouth. That's, you know, not over full in your mouth. But it's definitely a great um, amount that comes in so you can get a good taste of your cigar. So this is a pleasant smoke. I am very excited, as you probably can tell. Do make sure that you guys do check out my page, redlipsandcigarsticks.com, to check out the latest and greatest article. So I did just have a new Dapper Gentleman article that came out today on Alex. This gentleman makes customized design suits. He is out of Houston, Texas. His um, company is the Exclusive Gentleman. So if you like the nice fitted, style tailored suits he can definitely hook you up he has a website also that is attached to the article if you do check that out um, he is on Instagram as well so that is all on the blog excuse me and that's when you go to redlipsandcigarsticks.com you click on the magazine blog and you will be able to see that dapper gentleman and so many other dapper gentlemen I always feature my male cigar smokers on Fridays I mean excuse me my male cigar smokers on Sundays as my dapper gentleman and then my red lip fashionistas come out on Friday. Those are all my female cigar smokers. And of course, we have the red lips. That is a must. Well, not required, but typically most of them do have red lips. That is why I am this red lips and cigar sticks. So those are great. So do check those out. I will have that tag below. Also, do check out um, the if you go to the dot com site, it takes you directly to the magazine blog. So that's a lot of fun there. So you can see all of that. And on Tuesdays, I do post my cigar tips. So that's when I give information about different details of cigars, basically like cigars one on one, how to light a cigar, how to cut a cigar, you know, how to put your thump that ash or tap that ash, 
referring to your cigar ash you don't put them out like you would a cigarette so it's totally different so there's a lot of different tips things about um what the white ash mean a lot of people think instantly because you have a white ash that means it's a premium cigar is the best cigar is the top of the line cigar and yes it does give indicators of that but it also just means that the soil that the tobacco was grown in was had plenty of mineral minerals and calciums and things that it's supposed to have to get the tobacco to grow properly that's what um, having a white ash mean doesn't necessarily solidify that it's a great premium or super top-notch quality cigar um, so different things like that is in there what the cigar is made of like the binder the filler of the cigar the body so the anatomy of the cigar i have a lot of different articles about that in there uh what else is in there there's so many there's over i think we might be up to 80 80 plus articles i believe that's currently in the blog so do check those out um, i do try to feature a cigar of the day as well and just different things you can do around the cities of events that i'm aware of that people may have notified me about there's a lot of different smoke events coming up great smoke there's a um, the black smoke week that's in uh, miami that comes up in august um, i'm going to be at an event in april in atlanta this is going to be the sip shop and have cigar events through the Carmel girl collection that is listed on my pages, all my Instagram pages, my Facebook page, um, the brand page, as well as is posted on the um, blog as well. There is a blog about it that lists all the details and the information about that particular event. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be talking about pairing and different things that's, um, that you can have your cigars with, such as scotches, different scotches, whiskey, bourbon, of course, beer. I am a big beer drinker, so I love all beer. Um, especially during football season well, I mean I can really have beer anytime it doesn't necessarily have to be during the football season but I am always having a nice glass of beer <laughs> so tonight I am just chilling because Friday I went out and party there was the event I think I was just saying that at cigars etc here in Charlotte North Carolina which was a really really cool event able to connect with a lot of my brothers of the leaf and the sisters of the leaf um, the cigar circle had that event there um, and the distinguished Ruffin um, also was there. So that was great to meet a lot of them and see a lot of the guys there that I have not seen in a while. Um, and then Saturday, we went out. One of my girlfriends, her birthday is coming up. So there was a couple day parties in Charlotte with two uh, sports one. They had a 90s party, a brunch party. That was a lot of fun. It's always good to hear your good old school rap. Hey, 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 hey. So, and then we went to another little spot that has like, a, it's like a hookah little bar. So that was cool then after that came back to the house and chilled out and um i was exhausted because partying back to back i just can't do it no more because my ass is not as young as i once was i will be 40 coming up here in may so you just can't hang like that so i need my well not a full eight hours but at least a good six hours <laughs> so i can feel normal it's probably why i can't get my damn words out all the way tonight because i'm still kind of tired and plus, I was pushing through to get my article done and just cleaning up all my normal routine, household stuff. You know, you still got to cook, clean, organize, and, and still do business. And then I'll be going to work on Monday. And I also do Zumba. And so there's a Zumba event that we'll be performing during the halftime show of the Hornets game. That's going to be on February the 2nd. So that'll be a lot of fun. So there's a new routine that we have out. I got to learn it. It came out, I think, Wednesday of last week. So I really hadn't had a chance to get all my steps and stuff done because I ain't, I haven't had a chance to watch it. I've been doing so much other stuff. But uh, I will definitely get on point so I can be ready to go with my routine. <laughs> this cigar is just so divine. So good. I love this cigar. Well, my good friends, I just wanted to come on real quick and say hello to you guys. I haven't had a chance to make a video in a while. So hopefully I can get some more stuff coming a little more weekly. Maybe two videos a week is my goal. But I am going to enjoy the rest of this cigar here. 
I may have some more things coming on at the end of this video, so do make sure you watch it all the way through. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click on the notification bell so therefore you can get notified when my new videos do post. If you are not, why are you not following me yet on Instagram? Please do check me out at Red Lips and Cigar Sticks on my personal page. That is S-T-I-X-X. -X. And for the brand page, that is still Red Lips and Cigar Sticks. Eh. Excuse me, and that's with sticks. S-T-I-C-K-S. Red Lips and Cigar Sticks. S-T-I-C-K-S. And Facebook, of course, that is Naima Pierce. And the brand page is Red Lips and Cigar Sticks. Always do go to redlipsandcigarsticks.com to check out the latest and greatest article as well as our apparel. Do not forget about our great fashionable tees that is available for men and women. Thank you guys for joining my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Peace and love, you guys. Deuces. And I'm going to continue to enjoy this LFD Chapter 1. It's such a great smoke. Yes, indeed.